Chuck, did you eat a lot of Thanksgiving food? I did. I made myself miserable and very happy. What did you do for Thanksgiving? I stayed at home. I did not leave the house. So uh, your woman made you something, made a good meal? My wife and my mother-in-law prepared a fantastic meal. However, I have to tell you that every year we get our turkey from Pie Pies. From Popeyes? Popeyes, the uh, Cajun chicken restaurant. They make this deep fried turkey. And I'm sorry if this is a plug, but it's a plug. They make this deep fried turkey. You go in, you pay for it a week ahead of time. The day before Thanksgiving, you pick it up. It's fully cooked, just pumped full of juices and seasonings. And it's just fantastic. And it's very little work. And so the wife and the mother-in-law just prepare side dishes. And we have a great meal without a lot of work. Got any leftovers? Did till yesterday. Mm -hmm. So now you're back to normal and everything. That's it. It's in past now. It's right. I went over to uh, some friends' house and had Thanksgiving with with them. So that was fun. You know what's uh, hugely popular now? No. What? For Christmas dinner? What? Lasagna. That's not Thanksgiving. That is true. La no, Christmas dinner. Oh, Christmas dinner. Christmas dinner. Lasagna. Lasagna is a very big... Uh, they say... The grocery stores sell more lasagna noodles the week before Christmas than they do the entire year. Really? Never heard of such a thing. Did you go out uh, Black Friday shopping? No. Why not? Even my wife didn't go this year. You're kidding me. Why no, not? Just Cyber Monday. I went out and 6 o'clock, packed, jam-packed. Thanksgiving I mean, Day? Thanksgiving Day, 6 o'clock, jam-packed everywhere. Uh, went to Walmart, jam-packed. By 8 o'clock, you could find a parking spot anywhere on the lot. And then I moved over to tar Target, park anywhere you want. So they had the big rush at 6 o'clock, and then there was nobody. Now, I, I do have to say Friday, I did go out to Best Buy to just look at possibly buying a new computer. Right. And I had to park at the store behind Best Buy because there wasn't a place. They were slammed. Slammed. Best Buy had a uh, computer, Hewlett Packard, I saw for like eight fifty, and it was on sale for four fifty. They said wow. that, that was one of the best deals. Walmart, their number one special they had was a sixty inch TV set for three hundred thirty nine dollars. That's a very good deal. Yeah, sixty inch. I don't know if it's worth it, anything or anything. I don't know if it's worth, but it's. They said that was one of the best deals. But I, so I went out to the stores, had a good time, and stuff like that. It's that time of the year again. FYI Diabetes has partnered with Food Depot for the annual Drive to Cure Diabetes campaign. Starting November 21st and running through the holidays, you can visit your local Food Depot store and make a donation to help fund a cure for diabetes. 100% of the proceeds will go directly to the Cure Diabetes Now Fund for the Faustman Lab. The Faustman Lab is currently in the Phase 2 human clinical trials using the BCG vaccine to cure type 1 diabetes. This is a cure that exists right now using a generic vaccine. We need your help and every donation makes a difference. Please visit your local food depot and make a donation today. Together, we can cure diabetes. You can learn more about FYI Diabetes and the Faustman Lab at FYIDiabetes.org. Hey, I'm Jerry Rich from City Muffer. Me and my dad opened this place up 20 years ago. If you're a fair to people and honest and do good work, people will come back. We have a good reputation. It's worth your drive to come to City Mover because it's a family run and honest business, giving you an excellent job, good price, and guarantee. We're at 214 North Tennessee Street, Carswell, Georgia. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in, hanging out with us tonight. Chuck, we need to remind everybody in case they just tuned in for the first time what is our reach? We're in 19 counties around Metro Atlanta. We're in some of the largest counties, in fact, in the United States. Yes. This is like, what, the seventh or eighth largest market in the country or something? Right. It's just, yeah, this is a large market. And we wouldn't mind their contributions. What do you mean? <laughs> like, we got a donate button on the website? No, I don't mean money, Chuck. <laughs> um, that's a good idea. I like, I like the concept. No, as far as, let's say they had a video. Right. Like, what kind of video could they send in? Uh, you know, this is such a large film community, and mm -hmm. they're always looking for something different. They're the people who are scanning the channels and might run into us. Right. Or, or if you know someone who's in the, uh, a film student, we'd love to have some two- or three-minute segments that are produced locally. You know, they got to be worthy of being on TV, and they got to be clean. 
you know, that is the type of person that's watching us right now. The right. person who scans and they look for some locally produced, like, television show. And that's what this is. I mean, there, do you know of any other locally produced late night show in Atlanta? I can't recall any. I can't recall any either. But we'd love to have your input. I think that would be great. And we could grow this into into an hour. Easy. And become a huge uh, uh, partner in the Atlanta film community. Chuck had a brilliant idea earlier. We were talking about it. And maybe we could have a dating show or something. I would love that. Are you serious, Chuck? Yeah, I mean, well, D- Dave elaborated on that and said, let's, let's let, uh, you know, these guys film a one-minute segment and sell themselves and maybe we play five per show. I think it'd be fascinating. Why do you say guys? You don't think a girl would do it? Well, you know. We'd have to pay You them. know, I see some of these girls on these dating website commercials and they're just smoking hot and I can't they must be psycho if they don't have a date they must be one of these two or three date girls and then the guys dump them because they're psycho because some of these oh man are you kidding me you got to pay somebody to help you find a date something mentally there you know I see and I there are women I don't want I don't want to criticize anybody don't want to criticize maybe you like being single and there's nothing wrong with being single but I see a beautiful looking women, 27, 30 years old, 35 years old, beautiful, stunning, every, everything going for them, but never been married. So I have to think that's by choice. Oh, I agree. Or. They're crazy. They're absolute crazy. And there's not a guy that can put up with them. And that's, so which are you? Somebody out there. No, but there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing, if you're not married, it, it, that's your choice. That's your choice. Right. I'm not married. Haven't been married in a long time. That's, I, I, it agrees with me. I work with a couple of females mm-hmm. in, a, in another area Yeah. who are just adorable. Right. And complain because they never get asked out. Now, some women are so intimidating that guys are afraid to ask them out. They just assume that they're dating someone. Right. Right, so you will, if there's two girls sitting at the bar, one of them is average, and she's good looking, average, and the other one is just stunning, just looks like she just got off a walkway, you're going to go after the average girl. Totally agree. That's the one you're going to focus on. You're not going to talk to the, that's the way it works. And then if you have one who is stunning, then other guys start coming after her. All your buddies are all over her. So, uh, you know, Dr. Hook had a great song, When You're In Love With A Beautiful Woman. It's hard. It's tough. It's tough. And she's going to cheat on you. It's a matter of when. She's going to dump you. Waiting for something better to come along. That's sad but true. That's the way it is. That's, I mean, you know, 80% of all divorces are initiated by women. Is that true? That is absolutely true. 80% of all divorces initiated by women. So guys have a beautiful record when it comes to marriage. Women are just bad. They have, they have a horrible record. You know what happens is guys settle into a marriage and they get comfortable. And they quit They quit uh, making the woman feel special. They, you know, they're just like, they're part of the household now. They're nothing right. special. And they don't get creative and uh, let their woman know that they're special. They and, so, and so someone else comes along and does that. Gets the, gives them the attention that their husband is not giving them. Okay. And uh, so a woman or man doesn't make her feel special, it's okay for her to cheat on her man? No, but I'm saying if, if a woman cheats, marriage is over. Marriage is over because they got emotionally attached. Women don't go out and have an affair without becoming emotionally involved. You know, Men go out and have an affair for one reason. Yeah. One reason. Do you know... If I go, if I go to the courthouse, if I go in front of a judge, and a judge says, "You've got to pay five hundred dollars a month in child support," if I don't pay that child support, I go to jail. Right. If you go through a divorce and you don't go in front of the judge and you don't pay the child support, you don't have to go to jail because you haven't broken a, a judge's order. But judge tells me I have to pay a debt, and I don't pay a debt, and it's a court order, I can go to jail. So when a judge marries you, judge marries you, if the wife cheats on you, shouldn't she go to jail? That's heavy. No, I mean, seriously, shouldn't she go to jail? She broke, she said, I swear, I, I promise, and you know what I mean? She so, signed a document. Shouldn't she go to jail? Like a couple years. I don't mean like for life. Dave's email address is right here. You can talk to him. Shouldn't she go to jail? 
everybody's not in their head. I agree, guy. We got a lot of guys right now saying, you know, that dumb beat. You know what I mean? <laughs> just, she left me and broke my heart. And you're right, Dave. You're right. She needs to go. She should be in prison. <laughs> and I think most people would sign that. I think most people would vote on that, put it on the ballot. It's just my thoughts. Chuck, we got to take a break. Hey, this is Tim from Treasure Chest. The weather's changing. The only thing that's changing around Treasure Chest is an inventory. We have new sofa sets that starts at $4.99. We have rugs that start at $79. We have table sets that start at $2.99. Mattresses starts at $129. Come on by at Treasure Chest. We have a large selection of used inventory. 927 North Tennessee Street. Like us on Facebook. Beautiful Cartersville, Georgia. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. You're watching the Atlanta Late Show. Through the years, farmers have worked hard to keep fresh produce on our tables. Faith and determination can go a long way. At Food Depot, we want to keep putting fresh, delicious produce on your table. I'm Kenny, produce supervisor for Food Depot. We hand select our vegetables, always thinking of fresh. We buy locally at our state farmer's market, supporting our local farmers, their families, and the environment. Food Depot, with faith, hard work, and determination, we're making a difference. Chuck, have you uh, done your Christmas shopping yet? Uh, I have not, but when I do, I'll point and click. Really? You're going to do all all Amazon or whatever? That's the way you do it. You do it. Yep, let the uh, UPS or FedEx guy bring it to the house. Do you subscribe to that yearly service? Amazon's got where you pay $80 or $90 a year, and then it's like free delivery. Uh, No, I did not know that. Oh, yeah, yeah, and you get movies and all things like that, but I don't use the service. In fact, I've never ordered anything on Amazon, ever. I I usually don't buy from Amazon. I usually buy directly from the uh, retailer. Like whom? Like uh, the photo store out of New York, uh, Musician's Friend. Mm -hmm. Uh, No need to buy from Walmart online because you can run across the street. Uh, But if it's somewhere that I've got to travel to, See, that's where I'm, I'm, I'll travel to do a story, but I won't travel to shop. But you'll travel, but you won't travel to, well, they, the best, and if you buy from, you were talking about New York, B&H. Right. B&H, um, they're the best, and there's no tax. Correct. Why would you buy a, something $600 here and pay taxes when you can buy it out of New York and pay zero taxes? And a lot of times, over, over $99, it's free shipping. Yes, yeah, so, so I mean, don't, I, I don't know why you'd spend there, even a laptop or anything you want, B&H. You don't have to spend your gas money. People right now are looking up B&H. They sure got better stuff today, though, don't they? Better, they do. Better toys. When I was a kid, I can't think of one toy when I was a kid that impresses me that I remember it. I can. Clackers. Clackers. I remember clackers. And you remember, this is this was what, this was the highlight of probably when I was eight years old. This was the big toy, a cup. A what? With a, uh, with a string connected to a ball. And you try to... <laughs> Catch the ball in the cup. That's sad. That was that was boy. That was the big gift that year. You know, <laughs> cup. That was the biggie. Now, now that's what you get if you buy a box of Cracker Jacks. And I want a, I want a bell for my bicycle. Crap, man, it was crap. I feel really. Che- I was born at the wrong time. Right. You know, uh, people. Uh, <laughs> Uh, bicycles doesn't seem as popular now. Well, parents are afraid to let their kids ride on them now. It's too dangerous out there. So we got knee pads, elbow pads, helmet. Was well, that the law? I, I don't know if that's the law or not. I don't know either. Is that the, I don't know that is that the law though? I mean, are there? I don't. No, but bicycles. No, kids don't want to do that. They want to play on your daddy's iPhone. They want to play on mama's iPhone. They want to play on the iPad. They want a tablet for Christmas. <clears throat> you know, wait till they come out with this three D. The goggles, you'll never see your kid again. I've seen those. Right. I've seen them. I've seen them in, in a brick and mortar store. I've seen them already. They're coming out with adult entertainment. Oh. On the goggles, adult entertainment. That's much I'm going to say. I'm not going to say anymore. <laughs> you won't need that wife who's getting ready to divorce you anyway. You won't need her anymore. <laughs> you won't need her. You get these goggles and you just enter a new world. You can have. You know, people over here, people over here, and any kind of environment you want to enter. War. You want to go to war? People on the ground over here, snipers and stuff, and bullets is going by your ears. I mean, this is reality. This really is happening. It really is happening. It's a new world we live in. 
yeah, but Chuck, we're, we'll have Alzheimer's and all this other. We won't get to enjoy any of it. Just life ain't fair. <laughs> we know the great thing about having Alzheimer's. What? Don't know you got it. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Don't have any idea. Yeah. Every day's a new day. All this stuff coming out. And... Now I'm looking forward to it. I want the goggles. Do you want those? I want those. Right now it's just in its infancy and they're just they're just getting going, but who knows where we'll be ten years from now? Who knows? Well, I'll be over seventy, Chuck. I know that's where I'll be. Yeah. Ten years. I'll be almost right there with you. Yeah, we'll be going, remember when? Remember when we had that late night show, Chuck? You remember? Yeah, and then we'll have the same conversation tomorrow. Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's sad, Chuck. All right. Hi, I'm Don Weathers with 24 Bell Bar. We're located on Zena Drive, just right down from the jail. You can't miss me with this big, bright yellow building and the red trim. And there's my phone number right there. Put it in your phone. Keep me on speed dial. You never know when you're going to need me. But I guarantee you when you do, I'm going to treat you like family. And we're going to get you out of jail no matter where you're at in the state of Georgia. We have several locations. So it doesn't matter what you're charged with or where you're at. We're going to come to your rescue. We're going to get you out of that old stinky jail. You call me 770-382-2424 and we'll be there when you need us. Chuck, we got to spend a, at least a couple minutes talking about current events, talking about politics. God, I, I thought the election was over. The election is over. I mean, Donald Trump, crazy as he is, <laughs> um, he won. He's the president. And um, says a lot about our educational system. It's coming back to haunt us. And also Ritalin, all these now people are voters. So we got Donald Trump. But he is the president. Guy's goofy as they come. Did you hear the recent Chuck? He says that he won the popular vote. He won the popular vote because all the illegals that were voting gave Hillary the extra couple million. If you take out all the illegals that voted, he would have the vote. Did you? Did you? That, that's insanity, Chuck. That's, that's a real possibility. There's no possibility at all, Chuck. Now in that, New, in, in North Carolina, yeah. you do not have to have a picture ID to go vote. Why is that? That is crazy. I think everywhere you go vote, you should have to have a picture ID. You're discriminating. It's insanity. Against, you're discriminating against the poor. No, it's all about choices. Go get a job and go get an ID. Go get a job and go get an ID. And you can't get a job without an ID. So, okay, the government needs to provide them with an ID. Go to their house, take their picture, look at some paper, and don't inconvenience them where they have to go somewhere and get it. And, I and, and while they're there, yeah, look around, and and if they're if they're on uh, the EBT system or the WIC system, look around and make sure there's no alcoholic beverages or cigarettes there, because if they can afford to buy that stuff, they can afford to take care of themselves nutritionally. All right, Chuck, I'm at home. I haven't had a job in four years. I'm on WICs and I'm on food stamps, and if I need cigarettes and little alcohol and potato chips to get through the day, what's wrong with that? You don't need cigarettes and alcohol you want it you life, need nutrition to survive life is tough and i'm depressed because you don't have a job i don't have a job I haven't had a job and i'm the second generation not having a job <laughs> that's that's terrible i wouldn't tell you about that my parents didn't have a job and i'm not gonna have a job either <laughs> your children aren't gonna have a job <laughs> my children are not gonna have a job either but uh now if they're sitting home and they're drinking their their paps blue ribbon and smoking cigarettes, what's wrong with that? Probably smoke a little weed. Democrat. Hmm? They want to drug test people in some areas, Chuck. I agree with that. If you're gonna if the government's gonna pay your salary, you should just like anybody else, pass a drug test. I totally agree with that. You know, they did that somewhere and they found out like just point two percent were smoking doing stuff. Point two percent. The rest of them were just perfectly law abiding citizens. Really? Who are having a hard time. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, I, I sympathize with people who are having a hard time. But, you know, I went through a hard time. There was a point when I was a single dad. I had three kids. I had yeah. no job. Right. And, But you know what? Yeah. I figured out how to make it work without no government assistance, zero government assistance. Right. I made it work. 
It well, can be done. Back to politics here, Chuck. Back to politics. Okay, we got this crazy guy going to be president. <clears throat> okay, he's thinking about getting rid of Obamacare. What do you think about that? I think, like the. Like they said, I think there are some parts worthy of keeping, but you can't keep you can't keep the part where the existing conditions. You can't keep it as it is and make it work because it, it's just it's, it's Obamacare, not economically. It, Obamacare is not free. People got to pay for it. Like I signed up for Obamacare. Okay, I've got right now two hundred fifty dollars deductible. Before I'm covered, I got to cover the first two hundred fifty dollars. Okay, and I'm paying twenty seven dollars a month. It's not free. Okay. Okay, let's jump to this. What about the Obama phones? What about these tents set up? These people got $100 shoes on, they got an iPhone, and they still sign up and get a free phone from the government that I'm paying for. Why does that program exist? Chuck, they have to have a phone. How can they look They've for a job? Got a They've they got a phone. How do they find a their job? Their kids have got a phone. How do they find a job they don't have a phone? Man. How do they find a job? In fact, you know what I think we ought to do? Carrier pigeons. Gotta send the pigeon to their house. Let's say we got with a, a note. Let's say we got a couple. Okay. okay. Mary and Bob. Mary and Bob haven't worked well since they got married. And the, and so they have nine kids because they have and nothing they, else to do. And they got nine kids. They need training. They need a wardrobe. They need a car. If they, you want to get them, so I think we should give them everything they need to get ahead. I agree with that. Everything they need. Everyone who's on government assistance yes. wear a uniform. So we know you're on government assistance. That is motivation to get out of those clothes. How about a stamp on the head, Joe? Well, that would, you know, ain't cost too much. Can you tell somebody's got an EBT card now when they go into a store? Can you Absolutely. Tell? They're wearing pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, get dressed? They got to go to work. The government's buying my food. They're paying for my housing. I see the smiley pajamas all day long, the little Snoopy pajamas. I look at them and go, they got an EBT card. You're welcome. Let's take a break on that, Chuck. The roof keeps the rain out. Your doors can open to new adventures every day, but your floors hold the footsteps of your life. Quality floors at affordable prices. For all your life, all service flooring. 1331 Hiram Ackworth Highway, Dallas, Georgia. 678-464-3446. Chuck, are you reading any, anything about these new uh, driverless cars or whatever they call What do they call them? What's the correct? Self-driving cars. Self-driving cars. You know, what's fascinating is you can look this up on YouTube or the internet and Budweiser just sent a delivery of beer, a tractor trailer load of beer without anyone driving the truck. Now, there was someone in the passenger seat. I'm glad it wasn't me, but there's someone in the passenger seat and it made the delivery perfectly and backed up to the dock. How do they do that? How do they do that? I mean, really, how do they do that? Now, if you had the opportunity to, to have a self-driving car, would you trust it to drive you? I know you go to Orlando. Would you trust it to drive you to Orlando? Not right now. Not not. I would have to be in charge of the car. But I still I don't understand it. I don't understand because if I use Google Maps to go somewhere and I give the exact address, it could be off a house. It could be off 300 yards. It could be off. So how does a, a vehicle know to stay between the two lines how do they do that? And I don't understand if, like, a deer runs out in front of you. A deer runs out in front. Right, right. Or a dog. Right. Now, how much are, is this going to cost? I don't know, but so could this technically be your designated driver? Could you get a DUI? If you're in a self-driving car, could you get a DUI? I don't see how you could. How could you? If you're in a self-driving car. But you, you would have to be able to step in if, if something went wrong, I would think. So maybe, maybe you could get right. a DUI. Maybe you could. I don't know. But have you seen any prices on these cars? I mean, no. I'm, I'm, I don't think they're available for purchase yet, are they? I don't know. I don't know. But everybody's doing them, aren't they? I mean, everybody's getting into that market. They're, yes, they're, they're testing the waters. Now, I wonder if you choose to have a self-drive, you drive your own car, Are they? is your insurance going to go way up if you don't jump, jump, uh, jump to a self-driving car? Are they going to price it where you can't afford to drive your own car? You know, it's going to be neat. Can mm -hmm. you imagine 
boy, back when I was 18 years old and I had a 17-year-old date, we could hop in the back seat and the car take us anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Chuck, come on, man, come on. <laughs> family show, family. Family show, Chuck. All right. Sorry for the idea. We got to take a break. Image screen printing and window tint can print your stickers, vinyl graphics, and vehicle wrap designs. We use the latest technology in window film to cut patterns for your car with precision cuts. Image is the only authorized Lumar window film dealer in Cartersville since 1988, offering a lifetime warranty on cars, trucks, big trucks, and commercial professional installation. We also have a large assortment of apparel to choose from. You can pick out colors and see available printed shirts for ideas and logo designs. Image makes custom yard signs, banners, magnetic signs, business cards, and much more. Call us, 770-386-0025, or come visit us at our new location, 301 North Tennessee Street in Cartersville, right next to Weinman Stadium. Go Kane. Welcome back, everybody. It's good to be here. You know, what's fascinating about the time we live in today is you can go to your computer right now and you can go to this email address right here and send us something. Mm -hmm. 30 years ago, you had to write us a letter, put a stamp on an envelope and mail it to us and maybe two or three weeks we'd get, we'd get around to reading it. Right now, it's instantaneous. Anywhere in the world. I can send a an email to anybody in California, they'll get it within, what, 10 seconds. And the stamp is still a great idea. People complain about the price of stamps. For 44 cents, you can pay somebody to take something to California for you. We live in a great time. What a, what's to complain about that? But the best part is Google, Bing, Yahoo, the search engines. Mm -hmm. I remember encyclopedia salesmen coming to my door when I was a kid. I remember that. My dad bought us that. Right. Encyclopedia Britannica. Right. And so if you needed information, you had to go get a book out and look it up. Now I've got all that information on my phone right, right here. All I've got all all information in the whole world is on this phone. It's amazing. How do they store all that in there, Chuck? <laughs> How do they do that? I don't know. Isn't that amazing? We live in, it's a fantastic time. It really is. Oh, we got a new website. People tell, tell people we're going to have a new website. We are going to, we, we uh, you know, we're joining the, uh, the rest of the elites and we've got, uh, uh, we got something big coming up uh, with a college. Yes. <laughs> So. Yes, yes, we do. I'm excited about that. I am too. I am excited. That that'll be probably be about beginning of the year. We might have her on here as a guest in a couple of weeks. Right. One of the colleges is getting involved. Yeah, yep. that's kind of exciting. And then we got a brilliant multimedia guy who's going to help us with our yes. uh, other stuff. Yeah, I wish you could see the equipment around here. This is this first class. People can't. You can't. You know, they don't see it all. But we've got lighting and all this. We even got a director off to the side here. Say, hey, director. Hey, director. Yeah. So, Chuck, it's going to be exciting. I'm excited, but we want their input. We want your input. You have something to offer. They do. And something. If, and if you don't, you know someone who does. And I've, if I was sitting at home scanning the channels and I saw something like this and I'd look for something like this, and we truly mean it. We really do want your involvement. If you've got a camera and on your phone, you can, you can video something that we could put on this show. We want you. We want you. Got to be clean. Email address right here at the bottom of the screen. Got to go, Chuck. Everybody have a great night. See you.